Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker, and I'd also like to add my congratulations to the Chair of the Committee and to his members and to his team for what was a comprehensive report uh, into quite a detailed and, and lengthy uh, white paper. The Government sets great store on its levelling up agenda and also has committed itself to net zero. Uh, and the planning system is central to delivering both these and many other uh, key objectives. So does the Honourable Member believe that the White Paper has enough detail on either of these two issues? Um, I don't think we really mentioned either of them in the White Paper, and that's something we drew attention to, the lack of mention of, of climate change. It comes back to the lack of linking to some of the environmental proposals from the Government. Um, but also, on levelling up, uh, I, I do refer to the fact that uh, the Government changed the uh, housing needs formula midway through our inquiry uh, and moved some requirements to build homes from uh, southern, more rural areas to major cities, many of them in the North and Midlands. Uh, Many cities are going to struggle to deal with that without building on their green belts, and that's the feedback we're getting, including uh, problems in London as well. But the, 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 the requirement to build homes for areas in the north outside the major cities is going to be reduced. And so it doesn't quite square up with a, uh, a, a, an ambition uh, to get more development, more infrastructure, uh, more jobs in the north if, uh, outside the major cities if there's a requirement there to build fewer homes. And of course, with that lack of requirement goes lack of support from Homes England as well uh, to get the building underway. So I think that's a major concern that we've drawn attention to and does need addressing.